Hi. Welcome to today's video. I am so excited today because I have a very special guest. <laughs> <laughs> How long have I been trying to get you on my channel? A long time. A long time. Maybe a year. I was just telling a friend, I'm like, Lisa is so persistent. I finally <laughs> said yes. I said yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is my friend Sonia. Sonia and I go way back to our like Mac school days. We met at the Mac counter when I was like probably 19 or 20 years old, right? And I was... A little older. <laughs> Not much older, a little older. I was 27. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sonia is also a makeup artist. She uh, has a wedding makeup artist business here in Austin in the Hill Country area. So I'm going to have all her information below. But I asked her to come on my channel today because I had this really fun idea for a video. And um, it could go a couple of different ways. But here's what we're going to do. So I have eight foundations in front of me. I have four drugstore and four high end. We are going to blindfold me. And Sonia is going to apply them on my skin and I'm going to try and guess what is on my face. So we're gonna see how well I know my foundations. I did pick foundations that I really like. So all of these foundations I've either talked about in a favorites video or I've raved about or I've, I've given positive praise because I truly love them all. So we're gonna see though, do I think that a $6 foundation might be a $60? I don't know, we will find out. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. One of my favorites is for grocery store foundations, so. Yeah. <laughs> let's do this. All right, let's do it. All right, so before we get started, I wanna show you really quickly which foundations we have. I'm not gonna go through each of them and the benefits, I'm just gonna kind of name what we have. So we have the Nude Illusion by Wander Beauty. We have the Face Atelier Ultra Foundation, which I have proclaimed as being my favorite foundation of all time. We have the Too Faced Peach Perfect, which is another one that I absolutely love. The Giorgio Armani uh, Luminous Silk Foundation. So those are the four high end. For drugstore, we have the Candid by Revlon. We have the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte, which is one of Sonia's favorites. Love. So good. And then we have the Wet n Wild. Have you tried this one, the Photo Focus? I haven't. It's so, so good. I've been wearing this recently a lot. And then we have the Milani Conceal and Perfect, which is another favorite of mine. All right, so I'm gonna put this on, and you you pick whichever one. You don't don't go in that order. Mix it up. Just her. <laughs> Try and throw me off. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna just put this on while she picks the foundation, shows you guys, applies it on her hand, and then I'm going to take this off so she can apply it on my face. Here we go. We're focusing a little bit. I know it's. Okay, now make sure you mix it with the other, so I don't see that it's like right here, right? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I want to be really, I want to be really stumped here. All right, here we go. Have you, aside from the L'Oreal, are there any ones here that you haven't tried? Or have you not tried a lot of these? I have not tried a lot of these. Okay. Because I'm like, I have my good old faithful, faithful what <laughs> foundation. Do you, what do you like to use on weddings? On weddings? Uh -huh. Oh, airbrush. Oh, okay. On myself? Mm -hmm. Keep your eyes closed, my dear. Okay. Put my hair back for you. Oh, you have it. <laughs> Didn't pour enough. Okay. What do you think of this one so far? I like it. Mm -hmm. But see, I want to sit here and describe it, and I think if I do, you're going to know exactly what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so there's number one. Number one. Okay, let me see if I can guess what it is. Hmm, okay. To me, it has a little bit of a glow. Which I love. Yes. Um, okay, I'm not gonna think too hard about it. I'm just gonna go with my instinct, and I'm gonna guess that this is the, uh, I'm gonna guess that it's the Revlon Candid. Don't tell me yes or no, don't tell me yes or no. I'm just gonna, we're gonna note this, and then you'll tell me how good I get at the end. All right. Okay, so number one is Revlon Candid. Are you remembering these two? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to jot down which ones you do? Maybe so. Yeah, we probably should do that. So you don't it. Okay, so you okay, so we're back. I have cleaned off my skin, and Sonia's going to go in and apply the next one. So I'm going to cover my eyes. Cover your eyes. <laughs> go to sleep. It was funny. I asked our neighborhood Facebook page. It was like in our mom's group. I was like, does anyone have a blindfold I could borrow? And the jokes were like. <laughs> <laughs> but then and I thought about saying it's for a video, but then I thought, oh, gosh, that could even lead to more crazy assumptions. When you texted me, I said, no, I don't own a blindfold. <laughs> so here's number two. But funny enough, my sons do. Yeah. Well, I figure, you know, kids' birthday parties, you pin the tail on the donkey. I don't know. <laughs> well, and the thing about it is that 
you said blindfold. So to me, like what you're wearing, is kind of like a sleeping mask. Yes. If you said that, then I would have brought you three. Because I know. I didn't think about my that. My youngest sleeps with that every mm -hmm. night. Brooklyn has one of these and it has this crazy cat eyes on it. So when she's using it, it's so funny. Oh, we should have used that one. It would have been hilarious. I couldn't find it. I was looking for it, <laughs> but I couldn't find it. It would have been hilarious. All right, here we you go. Ready? Okay, take it off. Okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna pick your brain, Sonia. Yep. So I feel like people always get to hear my tips and tricks, but I want to hear a few from you. So you the only counter you ever worked at was Mac, right? No, I used to work for Lancome prior to that. Oh, okay. So what do you think was the difference between Mac and Lancome as far as like training artists and stuff? Well, Lancome was more about <laughs> skincare. Mm -hmm. Mac was all about makeup. Yeah. And color and... Artistry. Artistry versus... Skin. Yeah. Is there, what, like, if you could think of one tip or trick that you learned working at Mac that was, like, a game changer, what do you think that would be? It was concealing under the eyes. Mm-hmm. Um, one time, Christine Stafford pulled out a red lipstick, and I thought, what? <laughs> so it was the, I'm, I don't know if it was Mac Red or Ruby Woo, mm -hmm. but um, this person had really dark circles like and really dark like really dark uh -huh. and she put red <laughs> lipstick i kid you not on this person underneath their eyes yes and then used a concealer and the dark circles were gone the red was completely gone crazy? And it was amazing i remember she did that trick on a tattoo on covering a tattoo. yeah yeah the like red. black ink and it would cancel out the ink um because a lot of the a lot of tattoos have green ink and so red would cancel out that well the same thing for under eyes you know a lot of people tend to have bluish or purple or green undertones there no that's really pretty this one yes you like it i do <clears throat> i'm excited because now you get to learn about or discover new foundation Ooh, that is pretty okay i have a guess i think it's which one did i okay i guess the rebel one last time i'm gonna oh i know what this is i think i'm pretty sure i'm pretty confident this is the don't tell me um, the Milani Conceal and Perfect. That's the one I'm going to go with. I'm thinking it's either that one or it's the Wander Nude Illusion. I I feel like it's one of these Possible, two. Possible, but maybe not. Well, don't trick me. <laughs> mm. It's pretty, though. It is pretty. And I can tell you that a little bit goes a long ways. Yeah. Like, you don't need a whole lot. Yeah. Um... I'm gonna say the I'm gonna say it's the conceal and perfect. That's my guess. All right, take your little note. Okay, go take your little I'll note. Take mine. <laughs> I hope I get at least some of these right. I'm gonna feel really silly if I get them all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've removed foundation two and we're gonna move on to foundation three. Your skin is beautiful. Well, thank you. I think these lights help for sure. Other way. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Whenever I have people, you know, on my channel that aren't they don't do youtube videos it's always like you know it's tricky like figuring out where to hold things or where to look or you know well i always want to go closer to the camera and i don't need to go closer to the camera yeah all right remove the blindfold okay. and here's foundation number three number three okay i'm actually surprised that you can't tell by smells I would be able to tell by smells, but that's like one of my, that's like my keen sense, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't really smell the foundations too much. Okay. Especially like this one. I have a feeling when you do this one, I will know though, because this one, the wet and wild smells like paint thinner. <laughs> I think I remember you saying that. Well, and when I, when I did my review <laughs> on it, which was a long time ago, I didn't smell it. I didn't smell it. I, I think because I was doing a video and like I was so, um, you know, your I guess your senses aren't heightened when you're distracted and you have all these things going on. And when I did the video and I filmed it, I didn't notice the smell. And then I had a lot of people in the comments say, how could like you not mention the paint? It smells like paint thinner. How did you leave that out? And then I went and I grabbed and I smelled it. And I was like, oh my gosh, how did I not catch that? See, yeah. that would have been like the first thing you would have, I would yeah. have caught because I'm a scent girl. Like, Have you smelled this before? I have not. Mm -hmm. But scent, that I mean, this is a blessing and a curse because things can can smell really good mm -hmm. and really bad really quick to me. <laughs> you've, you've lived with two boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, after sports, it's awful. <laughs> Open the windows. <laughs> and when their friends are in the car, ooh, oh, I bet. it's like a locker room. <laughs> All right. Number three. Number three. Okay. That looks pretty. That does look pretty. Oh, I like this one. 
Okay, so it doesn't have too much, doesn't have too much glow to it. It has a very natural looking finish. It doesn't look matte and it doesn't look glowy. So I think that that kind of, I feel like it kind of limits it to the either the Face Atelier or the Revlon Candid, but I already guessed that one, so I'm gonna put that one away, or the Milani, but I just guessed the Milani too, I think. And this doesn't look as heavy, this doesn't look as full coverage as the Milani is. The other ones are all pretty matte or glowy, so I'm gonna say it's the Face Atelier, that's my guess, the Face Atelier Ultra. Yep, that's what I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna stick with it. All right then, All right. I'm not supposed to give you any clues. <laughs> Go mark it down. Can you imagine if we didn't have you mark it down and then we did all this and we're like, I can't remember. <laughs> and that could happen because I can't remember anything. Oh, I know. It totally would have happened. <clears throat> okay, so now we're on number four, right? Yes. Okay. We're halfway. Halfway. Moving and grooving. All right, let me put this back on. I'm surprised this hasn't messed up my eyelashes yet. <laughs> I'm actually surprised your skin looks so good and we just... <laughs> like have like... stripped it raw. <laughs> I did just put a little bit of uh, primer mist so that my skin's not too dry. No, okay. it looks great. Yay. All right, people, here's number four. I'm trying not to, like, listen to the bottle. Oh, yeah, that, this one was a little loud. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's so quiet in here. You ready? Yes. You mixed it up? I feel like it's, like, right there, but it's all Okay, hold on. Let's, <laughs> let's move things around. Now there's a big mess. You won't be able to tell. Okay. <laughs> all right. No, oh, yeah, they're all like <laughs> together. You know, I always like to start. I like. I want to hear this. Yeah, when I apply foundation on people or myself, I always like to start at the inner part of the face and kind of work my way out because this is really right here where we all need the most coverage, not out here most of the time. Mm -hmm. Now, there's times where you know hormones are crazy or whatever, and you need coverage everywhere but more than likely it's just right here mm -hmm. I say that all the time too like even my forehead I don't do a whole lot on my forehead yeah like sometimes it's not, not even really need it yeah no. it's almost just to like blend the product so it's all even color like all one color yeah. but you don't need just that. I mean as you can see I've just kind of been squirting like a little dot mm -hmm. and it covers her whole face do you feel like you wear less foundation the older you get yes yeah I do too not that I have wrinkles but it tends to settle if you have too much. Yeah. Well, and I, our skin gets drier, and when you wear heavier makeup on drier skin, it just looks like heavier makeup, you know? Yes. Heavier. Now, don't get me wrong. I like a nice, even face, and sometimes I like a full face, but it doesn't need to be heavy. Mm hmm I just like pretty skin. Mm -hmm. And to me, youth is like glowy, mm -hmm. not greasy looking, mm -hmm. but glowy and not shimmery, just... Mm hmm Satin. Satin. I love that word. Or sheen. I love the word satin and sheen. <laughs> yes. All right. All right. That's pretty. Let's see here. Okay. I think this is the Peach Perfect Too Faced. I feel like I kind of, I feel like off the bat, I feel pretty confident that this is the Too Faced Peach Perfect because it has um, really good coverage and a natural matte finish. Like it doesn't look dry and flat. Uh, but I can tell it's definitely mattified some. It feels like it's like a velvety matte finish. I think this is my, my favorite, my tried and true Too Faced. You're giving me a smirk. Don't tell me anymore. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. <laughs> okay, so let's mark. <laughs> We're going to mark down the Too Faced Peach Perfect as number four. Is this four? Yes. Okay, let's do it. That's what I'm going with. No holding, no going back. Clean face. I just added a little bit of moisturizer because my skin was getting really dry and I didn't want it to alter the finish of any of these. So let's start with number five. We're on five now, right? We're on five. We're on five. All right. I hope I look cute in this thing. You look cute. This is number five. Number five. So what foundation? Oh, you already said airbrush. So you do airbrush on everyone. Well, unless they, you know. You ready? Yes. Okay. Unless they request not. Yeah. Yeah. So when like you some do, people bring their own and that's okay. Yeah. If I had something I love too, I would want to use it. Mm -hmm. Have you used, this is a different foundation, but I saw a lady wearing it at a luncheon that I went to long ago, and I might butcher the name of this company, but this foundation is $300. What? Her skin glowed like, I mean, I can't even tell you. I'm tempted to just go to Neiman's and get a sample. Cla uh, de Paul. Oh, Clay de Paul. Clay de yes. Oh my goodness. I, I had to stop her. It was $300? I had to stop her and say, I had to ask you. 
Like, what do you have on your face? Because wow. I love it. And when she told me three hundred dollars, I was like, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I, ha I love their concealer that's $70. Well, I mean, at 7300 that's uh, a big difference. Yeah, that's insane. It must have, like, skincare benefits and yes, all that. Yes, her Still skin looked was gorgeous. And she was 50. It was so pretty. Um, I'm tempted to buy the La Mer. I've gotten samples, and it's really nice. Do you remember when we only used to use La Mer skincare? Who's we? Not me. Oh, I did. <laughs> you did. We worked at Saks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like when I worked at Saks was when I was the most irresponsible with my money. Same. Like I could not afford to buy designer bags then. And I did because we got the discount, you know? Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I can afford to buy this bag. And I really couldn't. La Mer for my face because <laughs> J-Lo used it. I remember that. There those we, were fun days. Those were fun days. days. What was your fun, fun, funnest memory about working at the mat counter? Us getting in trouble over loud music all the time. <laughs> yes. We they used to always come over to our counter and tell us to turn the music down. <laughs> and we had a little. Didn't we put a little mark where we? Yes. We were like, we've been approved to have it this loud. We're not turning it down below this. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Let me smell that though. I no. <laughs> no. I think that was this one. I'm pretty sure I smelled. <laughs> I smelled the wet and wild. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this was definitely the wet and wild photo focus because I did get a whiff of that. But it's actually pretty. It's Don't really tell pretty. me it is. It wasn't it. No, Don't tell me. No. Okay. Okay. Whatever it is, it's, it's really pretty. pretty. No, it is. I love all of these foundations. I love them all. That's why I thought it'd be good to test and see if I knew. I, I'm, I'm gonna leave here and go spend three hundred dollars on <laughs> eight foundations. <laughs> okay. I'm just kidding. I'm not doing that. <laughs> okay, so let's mark down wet and wild for number five. That's what I think it is. Okay, so now we are on number six. Yes, we Yes, are. okay. All right, you already know which one you're going to grab? Yes. Let me mix these all up, so put on my little mask. Here's number six. You just, you noted the last one down, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. I feel like you're you're going to need a facial I after know. This. My, my skin, after this last time I removed it, it felt a little raw. I'm not rubbing though. Am I no, pressing? No, no, it's the it's the makeup wipe. It's it's removing it with the makeup wipe every time because the makeup wipe is like an exfoliator too. You know. What's your? Do you prefer to apply foundation with a brush or a sponge? Um, funny you ask. I do not like a sponge at all. You don't. Want I feel it. like it soaks up my product, and I don't want to leave it on the sponge. I want it on my face. Yeah. So nope, never a sponge. I own the sponges, but. Never use them? No, I really don't like it. I, I think I'm the only makeup artist that does not use a beauty blender. I like that, though. I like that different makeup artists have different, like, tools and tricks and preferences, you know? Well, here's the deal, too. Like, when I'm doing makeup on people, that is a wet sponge. Mm. That can... I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how sanitary that is. Yeah. So I don't. I like it for, like, really full coverage foundations. Foundations that are, can be really heavy... Because it does absorb it. That's why. There you go. It absorbs some product and it goes on more natural looking. This is number six. Number six. What do you think of this? I love this. I love this. Can you tell a difference between any of these? Oh, this one's a little. Okay, this one's definitely drier to me. I feel like this one definitely looks drier, mm -hmm. which means, I'm um, okay, so if it's drier, then it can either be the peach perfect, but I, I've already guessed the other peach, and I don't think this actually looks as good as the peach perfect does for me, so I'm going to say no. Either or the wet and wild, but I'm I'm pretty sure I already guessed that one because of the scent already. So then the only other really matte one is the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible. I think that that that's what this is. So it's funny about the Infallible. I prefer the Glow, the Glow one, the Pro Glow versus the Pro Matte. I feel like the Pro Glow isn't even that glowy. It's just like natural. Like it's set. beautiful. Yeah, it is. I agree. I agree. I like them both a lot, but I do agree that the Glow. Um, I like. I feel bit. like it goes on better. Mm -hmm. It just kind of glides on this, mm -hmm. like. And it's not too glowy. It's not. It's beautiful. Yeah, it is. Yeah, but I'm gonna say that this one is the L'Oreal Pro Glow. I mean, Pro Matte. Pro Matte. Yep. Have you tried the new one, the Fresh Wear? I have not. Oh, it's good. It's really. I good. get in trouble at the grocery store, sis. I can't be adding <laughs> makeup to my bill. <laughs> I okay. Perfect. Let's move on to the next one. <laughs> okay, so which one are we on now? Se six or seven? Seven. Oh, okay, we're on seven. Let's put this this guy on. I hope you save the best for last because I'm going to be wearing it all day. <laughs> oh, well. I, I like them all. You can't go wrong with any of them, I think. Okay, so this is number seven. 
Can you imagine if I left this on and you tried to apply it? No, we. Be is that your daughter's? No, it's my neighbor's. Oh, she would be like, <laughs> "What did you do?" <laughs> All right, you can remove. Was any sense to that one? Um, not a lot. This one's gonna be tough. I feel like. I have to remember which ones I've guessed. I think you might have guessed them all. No, there's, I don't think I've guessed. I don't think I've identified the Armani yet. And I don't. Oh, true, true, true. And gosh, I can't remember. That's. I know I haven't done that one. And there's got to be another one I didn't do. Armani. Every time you say that, it you think of me Dave? Por Dave Porsche. Porsche. Oh, Porsche. Porsche. Why Porsche? That was her favorite. Oh, the luminous silk. She's doing good things. Oh. And of course, Gilbert. Gilbert. Oh my gosh, he made me laugh so hard. Every time I would not tweeze my eyebrows, he would be like, um, <laughs> you do not tweeze your eyebrows today. <laughs> so I think that's kind of why I'm so picky about my eyebrows, Gilbert. Oh, that's funny. I remember he told me something about my butt getting big ones. <laughs> <laughs> he just had no filter. No, I remember one day I was like, yeah, my hair's not straight. He goes, oh, I can tell. <laughs> Um, there's some curlies right here. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> Gilbert, those were good times. They were good times. You remember, do you miss our theme days, though? <laughs> no. How we would always get accused of not wearing too much. You know? So we, at Mac, they had, I don't even know if they still do this, but they on Saturdays they had theme days where we had to take the newest collection and do something really outlandish with our makeup. I think they do still do that because I go to Mac counter still and people's makeup is really like you know Donna um, yeah and but we worked at Saks Fifth Avenue which was a lot more conservative we worked a part of town which was a lot you just, yeah we didn't really fit in there we we <laughs> well and we always did our makeup pretty you know minimal but on theme days they wanted us to play it up and we were like I remember one time I remember one time it was like a fourth of July do you remember what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> and we were like we'll do a theme day so I think I, I wore like red lipstick and a little blue eyeliner and Marissa came with like a flag on her eye <laughs> yeah she took it and <laughs> she, ran with it. She did. Good for her. But she showed up and we were all like red lipstick and blue eyeliner. And she's like, you guys, I've got a and flag glitter. on my face. She's like, I've got a flag. I remember that. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. Mm, okay. This one's pretty glowy. This one is pretty glowy. Uh, gosh, I cannot remember what. I know I haven't guessed the Armani. And I think I've guessed every other one. Except this one. I feel like I haven't guessed this one. The Wander, I'm pretty sure I haven't guessed the Wander and the Armani, so it's gonna, I feel like it's one of these. I'm gonna say it's the Wander Beauty, the you nude illusion. So. Yeah, this is the one I'm guessing. I'm going with this one because it looks pretty glowy, but I feel like the Luminous Silk doesn't look this glowy on my skin. Yep, I'm gonna go with that one. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we are on our final, our eighth and final foundation. I hope it's a good one. <laughs> I'm just kidding, they're all good. If not, you get to put on a nine. <laughs> I mean, if it wasn't good, you wouldn't own I would, it. Yes, I, I wanted to pick. Um, I wanted to pick foundations that I like. I want them all to be ones I like. So this is number eight. Okay, so I, I guess since I've guessed all the others, I have to. I'm already going to guess that that's the Armani Silk just by process of elimination. But I mean, that's provided you got things right. I know exactly right. Oh, I mean, this one has a distinct. Can I smell? No. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can. I don't smell. I smell your lotion. Oh. You don't smell it probably on you. No, anymore. I smell my lotion, but that's not what I smell. Mm. This one dries quick. It does. And my skin's kind of drier because I've been stripping it so much. I might need you to close your eyes because I need more. Okay, so I'm curious what you think of this brush. I love this brush. You do? See, I usually don't like like the flat. I like I like kabuki brushes that have like a rounded edge. Oh, but that's that one, funny. But that one I like. It's a flat one, but I like it because it's it's got some movement to it. I actually always apply my my foundation with a flat, with a flat brush. One. Yeah, I know flat foundation brushes are popular. I used to use um, the paintbrush types. Yes. Yes, I this don't like one. these anymore. No, oh, I that oh, one too. Oh yeah. I used to use something like this. Actually, this would probably work too. Yeah. I think you're gonna have to close your eyes. Okay, you need to get more? Yes. Yeah. Okay, my eyes are closed. Don't okay. cheat. I won't cheat. All right. I feel pretty confident with my choices. Oh, do you really? I do. All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> we will see. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's see. Ooh, this one's pretty. Mm-hmm. It looks great. Mm-hmm, that one's very pretty. Okay. Yep, well, I, I do think this looks like the Armani uh, Luminous Silk Foundation. 
I do think so. That's what I'm gonna go with. Okay, so I'm gonna we're gonna compare our notes here. Are you are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, moment of truth. So number one, I guessed that we had on the Revlon Candid Foundation. What did we have on? We did not. Oh, what did we, we have? had? Too Faced. Oh, really? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I got that wrong. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Well, and that's interesting because Too Faced is like $42, I think, and the Revlon is like 10 So there you go. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Uh, for number two, I guess that we had on the let me let me put an X when so I, I got that wrong. I guess the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. No! Oh my yes. gosh! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Don't be sad. You got oh. a few. You got a few. I did. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. I got a few. Ah, I got this one right because you just grabbed it. Yay. The oh number gosh, you scared me. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> glad I got this one right. So the number three was Face Atelier Ultra. And I yes. know because she just I mean, you were like, oh, I love this. I love this. And I'm like, yeah, you do. I love that. It's your foundation. favorite. It is my favorite. It's always been your favorite. It has. It really has. Um, Okay, so the next one I know I got wrong because I guess Too Faced Peach Perfect and you... It was Armani. It was Armani. Wow. So I, I mi I'm i confused Too Faced with a couple of glowy foundations. That was kind of glowy. Yeah, I, I confused them with something that's more glowy and it's not. All right, so I got that one wrong. Okay, the next one I'm pretty sure I got right, the Wet n Wild. Photo. I mean, you cannot... Yeah. Um, the smell <laughs> is... You can't. Yeah. You Did can't. you smell it? Yeah, I could smell it the minute I put it here. Yeah. This but breath. it was pretty. I, feel like I need to drink some water because you have such a strong sense of smell as my breath bath. Stop it. I would have told you already off camera. <laughs> she would have to. <laughs> she definitely, no, that's not a joke. <laughs> no, I would be like, Lisa, listen, if we're going to be this close. Now you can tell me too, though. I'll be fine. Okay, so the next one, I guess, was the L'Oreal, I think. Correct. Yay, I got that one but right. It was, I, think, I feel like this was the only matte. It was, the only matte left. And it was clear as day. That was good. Okay, so, so far I have one, two, three wrong and three right. Yep. Right? Okay. So, the next one, I well, I think I got the last two wrong then, right? Because the next one, I guess, was Wander Beauty. And it was Revlon. And it was Revlon. Okay, well, so there we go. Another, I thought it was... I thought it was um, an expensive one. So I actually mistaken this. I got this wrong and I twice. Well, I got it wrong once, but each time was because of a, of a luxury foundation or like a high end foundation. So there you go. So there I you need go. To, this one. Obviously, we might need to try Revlon Revlon Candid. This? No, it's really good. It's really nice. Well, you saw it. Yeah, it's really nice. Okay, so I got that one wrong. And okay, and the last one I got was uh, Armani Luminous Silk. And you're wearing Milani. And it was Milani, yeah. Oh, wow! So see, this is like, like $10, and this is like, what, 60 I think. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. So I, there you go. I'm going to go buy this. Have you tried this before? No. Today? It's so pretty. I'm telling you, I'm going to leave here and <laughs> go buy a bunch of foundations. <laughs> and I don't need any. So I failed. I failed. I got two, or no, I got three right out of eight. I got five wrong and I got three right. I wouldn't say you failed. It just tells you some of the least expensive amount of, you know, the least expensive foundations are sometimes just as good as the... Yeah. That ones that cost fun. more. Yeah. Well, and that's why I wanted to do this too, because I, I knew I knew that I probably would mistake high end and low end and mix them up. So fun. Well, thanks for doing this for me. Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> yes. For the 500th time. <laughs> I, I want to get Sonia on my channel to do an actual makeup tutorial. Would you do that? Yeah. Now that we've done this, yeah. I think we'd be fine. Okay, good. I'm going to leave all of Sonia's information down below so you can, guys can go follow her on Instagram. She is Beauty by Sonia H. Yes. Right? Okay. So if you're in the Austin Hill Country area, she is your gal to hire. All right. Well, thanks for being on my channel. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>